Hey y'all, on my quest to run as many creative apps as possible on Linux, I thought I would introduce you to Winboat, if you've not already seen it. It's been getting a lot of hype the last three months, and it's basically a way of installing Windows at a very low level in a Linux OS, but it's hidden, and you kind of remote into it so that you can run individual applications without having to actually see windows so um basically you would have this application running in linux like this here this screenshot which is a list of all the apps so you'd launch winboat on whatever linux distro you've chosen click say for example adobe premiere pro and that would load in linux with nothing else to show. It's very very much like Parallels on Mac where it sort of integrated Windows in a hidden level and you could run all the Windows apps. So um, with that being said, it's still a bit annoying having to install Windows on Linux, but this is probably the best solution we have up until now to get anything running, including Photoshop. So in this video, I'm just going to suggest a piece of software which will kind of shrink windows into like a compatibility layer so you can strip it right back of any bloatware or telemetry so the tool i'm going to show you is the chris titus windows tool which you can run with just this one command in your powershell i'll put a link to his page in the description but basically it's this application here so just load it's hiding itself okay so you've got a few methods if you've already got a windows installation within winboat then you can use this tool to strip back edge turn off telemetry and disable a few services and what have you so on the first tab here we've got an install tab and it's got install and uninstall so you could select like microsoft edge and any other annoying windows app that you no longer want to see and just click uninstall because obviously windows wouldn't let you do that by default but then when you go to tweaks you've got many options like disable telemetry disable active history location tracking set certain services to manual let's see actually turn a bunch of system services to manual that don't need to be running yeah so this i like like it will disable loads of services in the background that you may not need so if you disable them all then you can just manually reintroduce them one by one if an application needs them so the goal here is to make the windows footprint as small as possible so it almost becomes like a compatibility layer for linux and in these advanced tweaks here, you've got things like Adobe Debloat, because Adobe these days is like a virus. It really bloats your machine and sends so much data back and forth online. So what else have we got here? There's many options, like disable Edge. If you don't uninstall it, you could just disable Edge and its telemetry. Um, there's many here, really. Copilot, you can disable. So it's well worth having a look at, but that being said, the tweaks wasn't the main thing I was going to get to. It's got a tab called Micro Win, which lets you prepare a Windows ISO with it already stripped back of like Windows bloat. So what you would do is you'd go to the Windows website and download your ISO. And then you would launch this utility from the Chris Titus tech by copying this command in your PowerShell. Then you'd go back to the tool and you would select the ISO. And then that will downsize the ISO without the bloat. So let's have a look here. It basically says it removes telemetry and tracking creates a fast install so it will just do a local user account so you don't have to sit there and go through all the settings and die of boredom 
and it's also got no internet requirements for install and it's got an apps d bloat so i need to get the actual list maybe look on his website for the list of apps but i imagine edge is in there but yeah so this micro win would in a way shrink windows back so much that you could kind of call it a compatibility layer i mean it's still obviously for windows but it's so many services and products have been taken out of it so I think this is the next best thing to wine really it's um, Winboat is still a work in progress and there's things I would like to see they're currently looking at a way to do GPU pass through which is essential really um, I'd like to see them introduce drag and drop so you could have like a Windows application running and then just drag your file into it um, I'm not sure how difficult that'll be because of the nature of it using RDP which is the way it remotes into Windows there's always the argument that oh, it's just a virtual machine and although it kind of is because of the way you connect to it it's a lot more lightweight than running a full virtual machine on top of Linux so you'd still get 90 to 95 percent performance doing it this way it's just a few quirks with like the drag and drop and gpu pass for at the moment but if you're if you need to run an app that is not supported by wine then this is the best option we have at the moment so anyway it's just an introduction to this method i may do a video of setting it up from start to finish but um as you can see at the moment, today I'm on my Windows PC in my home photography studio because it's too cold to go out. I'm not getting to the office today. So anyhow, that's all for now and I'll catch you soon. Cheers.